This is a mistake. It belongs on the Hall of Shame. The Fall of Troy, an orange vanilla imperial IPA. Well, hello and welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. Today, I'm going to be drinking The Fall of Troy, an orange vanilla imperial IPA that contains no Hollywood blockbuster or epic ancient poem or anything like that. Um, I've heard this beer referred to by uh, several names amongst the... Um, the Beerstagram crowd. Um, it's, uh, I guess Belching Beaver kind of, kind of wears their, um, their failures with pride, I think, would be one way to, to describe this and, uh, some other things. Let's see, I mean, they put on, on the can label, Troy is hereby inducted into our Brewer's Hall of Shame. So, uh, <laughs> interesting. It's just interesting that that they. I don't know if they're if they're trying to ev evoke a certain thing, um, but uh, yeah. Anyways, it is what it is. It makes me laugh and it makes me wonder. But um, all those also make me drink. Well, they don't make me drink, but I still choose to drink the things despite the warnings that might be simply evocative statements. Whatever. To smell... See, this is definitely pale. Um, not pale enough to be filtered, or not, not clear enough to be filtered necessarily. The smell is not orange vanilla, or not immediately orange vanilla. Maybe, maybe tangerine. You know, there's kind of a mild, light, sweet citrus in there. Um, there's not creaminess, though, to the nose. There, there could be a hint of vanilla, but it's really far in the background and almost lost. Instead, there is a kind of an earthy hop aroma that, paired with the orange, hides any creaminess or, um, or vanilla character, I think. It doesn't smell bad, so I'll give it that, right? So, despite it being a hall of, hall of shame, it's not offensive. Woohoo! I suppose when your standards are low, it's great. Oh, boy. Whoa. Okay. There's a very creamy, like, cheap ice cream creaminess to this. Um, there are... I have described beers as being, like, grown-up Orange Julius's. The, the quintessential, the ultimate at least in my memory's eye, orange vanilla cream beverage, right? From the, from the malls in the 80s and 90s. Orange Julius. Delicious stuff. I believe you can make a knockoff with oranges, bananas, and vanilla ice cream. Anyways, this has... This is like if you had a third grader make a beer that wasn't Orange Julius. I mean, I suppose they have a better idea of what an Orange Julius is, because they're probably more of the target audience. Um, the other beer I've had, the Samish Haze, which is a hazy IPA by Black Raven, it eschews the sweetness and goes straight for a creamy citrus character that works very nicely in just evoking the idea, the experience of an Orange Julius. This is more like... different. <laughs> So, there's still that tangerine, but it takes on an almost artificial flavor, um, artificial character, in combination with what else is going on here. Because what else is going on in here is this vanilla, like cheap vanilla ice cream kind of creaminess, and then this, um, more of this earthy, leafy uh, hop character that stays towards the front of the mouth, interestingly. It doesn't really go back... There's no bitter brush. And that might be something more um, to do with the this being a high, high ABV Imperial IPA, which typically have uh, more of a sweet, 
sugar, alcohol character. And I think all that's just kind of working together. It's not an unpleasant beer. It's kind of a weird beer. And um, more of a, I drunk it to say I drunk it, not because it was that amazing. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it's it's definitely a journey. They are all certainly flavors in there. They are um, strong. They are uh, present. They are in your mouth. And they are all there. Um, yes, I did get a four pack of this. Yes, I have drunk the other three. This is the last can. And um, I'm not sure I'd buy it. No. Let me change change what I say. Um, I would not buy this again, but I don't consider myself to have lost or wasted things by having had it. Let's put it that way. It's an experience. It's an okay experience to have had once, or four times in my case, at one time. However that works. Anyways, it's a journey. It's an interesting journey. Um, but there's a better journeys to have. Anyways, this is me, Matthew, drinking, just drinking, The Fall of Troy, an orange vanilla imperial IPA by Belching Beaver. And I'll catch y'all on the flip side.